Welcome everyone to a speed painting video of Orcs using a new contrast paint. Now, I've been a big fan of the contrast paint since using them. I found the property to be absolutely awesome and I see so much potential in these new paint range. Now, I know there's a lot of hate out there, but please do ignore the hate. They do have the purposes, they have the perks, and they also have some downsides to them as well. Um, but if you want to smash your uh, horde army out very, very quickly, the contrast paint is definitely the way forward to go with these. So far, what I have found with them, they are friggin' awesome. The way they, the paints hit the models, they come out really nice, really sharp, really crisp. Been very, very impressed with them so far. Anyway, let's get straight on with the video. Um, hopefully, I should go through a couple of techniques to get an, uh, an orc miniature painted in probably about 15, 20 minutes time. Doesn't take very long at all. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe. It does help me out massively and I really do appreciate it. Let's get on with the painting. The model was based in Wraithbone undercoat and then we're going straight in with the con contrast orc flesh. So the next part we're going to move the snake bite leather and it's just to pick out all the clothing and all the leather pouches of the model. Next up, we're just gonna go back in with the Wraithbone base color. Uh, and this is just to clear up any of the parts of the model that we might have gone over with the snake bite leather or over with the green, just so it doesn't affect the yellow once it's applied. With contrast painting, it's very important to remember that you're going light to dark, post to dark to light. So in this part, I'm gonna mix the contrast medium in with the in and yellow, just to make it a little bit more brighter when it hits the white.
Once all the high points are done with the yellow, we're then just going to be taking it straight out of the bottle to look for the darker areas of the yellow. Next up we're going to be going in with the Nasdrag yellow and this is just to pick out all the darker parts of the model so looking for all the shadow areas. So next up, I'm going to be going with the Black Templar paint, probably one of my favorite colors so far with the contrast range. Uh, all I'm going to be doing now is just going over the boots and then picking out all the parts that I'm going to be turning to metal.
So the next paint I'm going to be using is the Iron Warriors base. Now with this one I'm just going to be doing a, um, a stippling effect with an old spit sponge and that's just to catch the end part of the axe because with the axe itself maybe when it was manufactured it would have been uh, painted yellow but as, this, as the orc has been using it obviously the paint's chipped off and then using it with a sponge it gives that, that uneven effect to look like that the paint has chipped away. Next part I'm going to be going in with is going to be the Iron Breaker and this is just pretty much to highlight the, the darker silver that I've already pre-used. So the model's base firstly was done by Contrast Wayward. Uh, now this is a nice dark brown. It goes nice and easily over the model's base itself. Gets in all those cracks and crevices. It just needs the one coat, which is friggin' awesome. So next I'm gonna be going in with the Moonfang Brown. And this is just gonna be um, heavily dry brushed across the base itself. So I still want some of the actual Wayward to be showing up underneath the actual um, the Moonfang. Next up, we're going to be coming in with the Steel Legion Drab, and this is again not so much of a heavier uh, coating of the dry brushing with this one. Next up, we're going to be going with Crack Stone, and this is just going to start to be uh, lightly applied as a dry brushing over the actual base, and this will start making the, the base start to pop. Then just go in with a very, very light dry brush. I'm just going in with the Iron Ranch skin and this is just to give it that, that final finesse. Now just to finish off the actual base itself, just going back in with the Black Templar uh, and this is just to go around the base just to make the actual, the, the mud actually pop and stand out more on the actual base itself. Retributed gold was then applied to the tooth and any other gold parts on it. Now this model doesn't have many gold parts, so it was quite quite a straightforward job. Wraith bone was then applied to the teeth and then to the eyes. Just to make the teeth pop, I just went in there with the uh, bright white and this is just for the tips of the teeth itself, just to make it stand out and then just into the corner of the eyes. So this next part, I'm gonna be using Ice Yellow from the Vallejo model color range. Now, I like this color, it, it really goes nice with, with yellows, but there's nothing stopping you using any of the um, GW layer range to actually finish this last part off, maybe mix it in with a bit of white.
This model took me about 20 minutes to complete. A lot of the time on this was actually readjusting the camera and making sure I was in focus. If I didn't have those elements into it, I'm pretty confident again I could complete this model in about 15 minutes. One of the beautiful things with contrast, it does make your painting a lot faster. As long as you're clever with the paints and you don't go too heavy with them, you will get some really outstanding results onto it. If I could redo this model again, or when I do redo this model again, what I will be doing is mixing some medium actually in with the actual orc skin itself, uh, just to actually lighten up the actual the colouring of the orc, and possibly going with a darker green into the recesses. At a later date, I will be doing another painting tutorial where I'll be taking this model and actually stepping up and actually going a little bit further in, putting the actual highlights into the armour, putting the actual battle damage in, and actually making that armour actually pop. I really do appreciate everyone taking the time to watch this video, it does mean a lot to myself. Uh, if you haven't already, please, please, please do hit that like and subscribe, it does help me out massively. And then hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. Many thanks for watching.